All right, welcome back. It's been a good week. We got a, picked up quite a few knives this week. Um, I'm gonna do this one off screen here just for privacy's sake. Uh, that's the Demco 8020.5, just the standard OS 10A with bribery variant. Um, but yeah, picked up a Sharp Eye Design Mini Tempest. Um, picked up what else? I've been trying to find a black uh, black mirror from Max Ace for a while. Finally grabbed one of those. boxes in this box um what else uh check holy this is a box within a box within a box within a box someone definitely is winning the rube goldberg project here that was four packages and at the very end of it the prize um picked up quite a few demcos i grabbed a couple knives new from websites but for the most part everything i bought was uh second hand and for example it'd be very hard to get this particular one from a website so demco mg8020 crew wear clip point red g10 i actually <laughs> i actually uh don't think that's what's in here <laughs> but we will uh take a look yeah, no, that's not what's in here. So that's the wrong box for this knife. However, Crew Wear Red G10. So I'll talk with the seller about that one. However, what is super cool that is in here is a very rare variant of the Demco 8020. Carbon fiber on the handles. Uh, their carbon fiber on their 8020 and 8020S is not milled inside. And uh, carbon fiber is obviously already very light. The weight point's great. It has no slot. It has a, uh, a swedge up here. So if you've seen others, they oftentimes don't have that swedge. So here's another 8020 variant, full size. Again, these are the full size variants. So that is really cool. Um, you've got here um, a crew wear. So the crew wear is correct. I wonder if he may have even gotten this from Demco with this incorrect box because it's just a one-off variant or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk with this seller and see what's going on here. It's also not opening and closing correctly, uh, which is interesting. So... This one, this one will require a little bit of a conversation with the seller, um, but let's go ahead and get this guy out of here and we'll take a look at what we got. The back spacer is very interesting. I don't know if that's carbon fiber or not. I kind of want to open it up. I imagine it's probably G10 or plastic or something, but if it was carbon fiber, that'd be super cool on that back spacer. So anyways, I saw this on there and I was like, uh, I got to grab that see what's going on. I think these are size 10 on the pivots. So let's see if, uh... and then this one's supposed to be the new M box. So yeah, the edge feels brand new. The finish just looks a little different to me than I'm used to. It's a little shinier. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it looks a little shinier than I'm used to. So that's interesting. I'm just comparing really quickly the edge also, because the edge looks a little longer than I'm used to seeing on these. And then the swedge. This is a very weird variant. So this apparently came from and it could just be that it's like not well lubricated inside, but let's get it open and figure out what's going on. Um, this was supposedly sold by Jim, John, John Demko. I can't remember if he said Andrew or John. I think he said, and I think he said John at uh, one of the knife shows. So, okay. So it may have just been over tightened because uh, now it's quite good. The lockup's still solid, not quite. So let's see if we can get a little bit of both. If not, I'm gonna throw a little bit of lubricant on there. Okay, so now the lockup's good. Let's give it a little bit of room here. 
let's just get in here and see what's going on inside. Uh, kind of curious about um, the backspacer anyways. I want to see what it is. I'm assuming it's going to be made of uh, like plastic, but you never know. You never know with Demco. And then these are going to be T8 in the back. I do find the way that their hardware is, it's like a little rounded off. So you really got to push down hard to make sure it doesn't slip. It doesn't like your your tool doesn't sit like straight into it naturally. You have to really put an effort in to make sure that you get good purchase on the hardware. Even though it's T8, I feel like it's uh, easier to strip than a lot of the T6. I mean, it doesn't strip. I've never had it strip, but slip, I guess, is probably the right term. The nice thing is it's actually magnetic. <laughs> I've seen hardware and other knives where it's not magnetic and it is a little harder to work with. So now what's bound to happen here is uh, I'm bound to have a spring shoot out. So bear with me as I try and carefully take this apart and uh, retain the spring as I do. All right, let's see what happens. You know what, let's just go ahead and take off all the hardware, really get into it here. So it may just need like some uh, some oil in there. So when we get it open, we'll see if it's kind of dry. We'll see what's going on with the bearings. I noticed with the carbon fiber, it does have the inlay like the G10. G10 also, and, and the Gryery actually, any of the full size ones don't have you know, milling. They do have this uh, steel liner though, whereas the titanium doesn't. So let's get this guy opened up. You can see the liner there. And now one of our key things is to try not to lose. Huh. Well, original goat. Now, did it come with... Well, that's what I get for not looking in the box. <laughs> so that is... Uh... Let's... Let's actually take that out of there. That makes more sense. Oh, look at that. I got so lucky. You see how that spring it is ready to pop out and shoot across the room. I got pretty lucky there. So now, now I'm feeling more confident in this knife, knowing that this is not a factory backspacer. It explains a lot. It means that this is not, you know, the formation that it came with. Ah, now I'm now I feel like the air is cleared a little bit here. This was kind of bothering me a little. I was like, what am I, what did I buy? Beautiful work on the carbon fiber. The 8020 and 8020S carbon fibers are really nice. I feel like it's not the most premium I've ever seen, but it's like really good compared to the 8020.5s. Fine, but it's not on the same level. So we're gonna throw these backspacers back in there. This guy is going to go back in the bag. I mean, it's cool, but I personally really, especially with something like this, want the factory formation. And then let's take a look and see if it's just like a little dry in there or something. It definitely seems like it's pretty dry in here. So I'll throw a little bit of my favorite. And I don't even know if this is what you're supposed to use, but I find with Demco is just the way it's designed. This is really good. You don't need like a high friction, um, you know, uh, oil or anything like that. So just the hops nine, it's clear. So it doesn't make a mess out of anything. Just get a little bit on there. Just put it around. Okay. There we go. And then we will 
Yeah, there's a little oil in there and stuff. Black tissue. You just never quite know what someone used. Maybe they used uh, an oil that was too high friction. Yeah, this one feels like it's a very heavy weight. I don't think, from my experience so far, you need a really heavy weight with the Demco's. You might prefer it. It might make it feel a little, you know, a little, um, for lack of a better term, Chris Reeves-ish. <laughs> um, but for me personally, that's not the, the go-to. So I'm gonna take this heavier weight oil off. Let's uh, just go ahead and drop this guy here. And uh, it, it probably wouldn't be a terrible thing for where the lock is. That's probably a good thing to have a heavier weight oil, but I wouldn't put it on the bearings because a huge benefit I think of this knife for me is just the, you know, having like a really fidgety, easy to manipulate knife. So I'm just gonna swap it all out and throw the stuff I know works really well for the way I like my knife to run in there. Okay, and then we'll throw this back on here. And same thing over here. I also feel like, oh, which side? I feel like the bearings go the other way. So that could also be part of it. I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure the bearings should face, open face away from the blade. And then just for safe measure, throw a little bit on the lock. You don't need much on here, I find, but that can't hurt. Um, and then we'll throw the liner on there. Trying to remember what I did over here. Did I put the oil in first on this side? This is what happens when I do a video and try and work on the knives. I pretty much screw everything up. Boom. Boom. This is just super lightweight, clear also, which I think is kind of important depending on which model you have. You don't really want something with a lot of color on a Demco because it'll potentially show out like on the Ultim in particular. You'll really see that kind of creep out into the scale. So it depends which scale you have. But yeah, really cool. They got an 80-20, whoops, carbon fiber. They're very, they're probably the most rare of the 80-20s. I don't know if I've seen many, if any. And then I don't know what's up with this swedge. That almost makes me feel like it's an aftermarket blade or something, but I'll have to double check with uh, the smart people that that's truly a, here I go, missing it up while putting it back together again. So you gotta throw these guys on here. Um, probably want to throw the spring in there if we want the knife to work correctly. But yeah, that this was a real like factory variant just almost seems kind of like custom because uh, 
I've never seen a machine ground with that like swedge, but it could just be that I don't know. So I'll have to confirm that that's actually a factory swedge up front. If so, I'm extra stoked on this because that's very rare. I don't have any of my other 8020s that have that on there. So we'll have another one right here real quick. You can see there's another one not swedged here. So uh, that would be very, very cool to have uh, super one-off carbon fiber 8020 with the swedge. I didn't even catch that when I was looking at the pictures. But it's going to take a little investigation. So let's get this back together and then see if we get the that factory action back that we expect out of this knife. There we go, just needed a little push to pop into place. You get it just a little bit tight like that. Let's get all the backspacers and stuff in. I try not to over tighten things until every screw is in place so that everything's nice and lined up and I know it's in the right place and then I'll tighten everything down. And then we will see what we got on our hands here. So I believe, you know, given the hand etching on the blade shows the crew where a hand etched in like that, it's not impossible that it could be a one-off with the swedge. Um, it was sold at a show after all, not through a website, which further, you know, makes that feasible. I just want to hear it from probably the Demcos or, you know, someone like yeah, without throwing out names, some of the folks from the Demco Facebook group that are the real experts on the matter. Obviously, I have a lot of experience with them, but not a lot of experience with like the manufacturer or the history beyond the last year. So something like this that would have been sold probably in 2021 is not uh, not something that I have like that I would have seen posted right when it's sold and have that validation. But if I recall correctly, I did see that the seller had um, posted this like pretty long ago. So I can go back to some of those original posts and just see if they all look in line with expectation. All right, so now everything's in pretty good. And I'm just gonna give that what I'll call like a factory tune.
I would say that that uh, came out quite nicely. Let me uh, give a little bit of room here on the camera and I'll show a little bit of what you're probably not able to see when I'm doing that. So give myself a little bit of room for a full drop. So that is what I call drop shut. Very nice. So yeah, feels good now. I think a part of it was that it had the backspacer in there. That could be a part of it. Who knows? I don't know. It's probably not that so much as it, that high viscosity um, oil that was in there. And I, it, I think they may even use that from the factory. So I don't, I don't want to say that that was from the seller or anything like that. But that could just be some factory high viscosity oil from 2021 and they may not be using that same stuff anymore. They may be, I don't know, but I'd say we're in good shape now. So how cool is that? I mean, carbon fiber swedged, almost like a one-off Demco. Um, pretty stoked if this all turns out to be what I think it is. Now, kind of funny that the box has the wrong handle on it. And I'm going to have to chat with the seller and confirm it didn't come as a red G10 and then get swapped to carbon fiber from an 8020S or something like that. So I'll just double check on that with the seller. But what's super, super cool is that I now have a growing slotless collection. Like there's only a, there's a much smaller number of this is 3V, that's crew wear. Um, you can also get the 80, 20, and 20 CV. Um, but there are not a lot out there that don't have the slot. I also have one with G10 that I'm about to unbox and one with Grivery I'm about to unbox. So I'll have the full gamut of slot lists as long as this thing turns out to be an original, which uh, again, with that swedge, I'm gonna have to confirm with some of the pros um but it is really cool so i think that's kind of unique as someone that collects um i'm feeling very excited right now i'm going to do a little bit of homework to make sure that i validate the excitement rather than just assume and uh authenticity is really important to me so it's uh, worth a little bit of extra work to make sure this is what i think it is but let's get a little close up for you Love the grind lines on the swedge, that's really nice. And now we got the standoffs in there, the factory standoffs. You definitely have, I mean, that's an authentic, hard to come by black you know, Demco 8020 uh, shark block, which is cool. Neat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. That was a, a lot of fun to go through it, clean it out, get it working right again, how it should. And uh, there you go. Please like, subscribe, comment, um, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.